I guess you could say this play is about beware of what you wish for. I think the immense amount of power that she has is something you don't you don't see right away that you might get little glimmers of in the beginning. But the way that it comes out and the way that it affects Thomas, I think is a, it's a huge thing to take away from this show. Just generally the amount of power that she has, that the woman has in this play is a really important message for audiences to get. I think audiences will be really interested to see what Vonda portrays herself to be in the beginning and what she actually is and then who she becomes by the end of it. I think there's a lot of surprises throughout the entire process. What Thomas brings out in her, what's already been there that she's pulling out on him. I kept reading and reading and every time I'd read it I find something new that I really liked or hadn't noticed before and I just playing it with my partner has been the greatest part of the process, once you have your lines down, once you've kind of got the blocking down, all of the discoveries that you get to make, not just by yourself, but together to just build the show up more, that's been the most fun for me. I think just the title itself gives kind of a mystical feel to the entire play. It gives the sense of something else is there, but you never quite know. <laughs> especially because of the blurred lines and the power struggle that you see throughout the entire show. Who's got the power? Who doesn't? Who pretends to have the power? Who pretends to submit? The sex appeal of the show, I mean, it might be the drawing factor, but there's so many more things hidden underneath it, all the feminist undertones that need to be observed and that need to be said. And I hope that the audiences walk away with more than it just being a sexy show, but that it's also an intelligent show, a deep show, and a feminist show. Boys only want love if it's torture. Don't say I didn't say I didn't Because she might come walking in the door. Don't fuck the box is what it's about.